Oh my god, the battery is running out. So first, I'm gonna do a quick dance with Luca. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Love Luca's here. Okay. Ready? Sit. Go. Spin. Nah, 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 Okay, that wasn't really good. <laughs> but bye, bye. He's pulling me. Bye. We are way too close to this pelican right now. <laughs> pelican! We got it off! <laughs> pelican! There's barely any there. Pelican. I tried to find when I... So how did you like the pelican, Danny? Why do you think, do you reckon the pelican was trying to get close because those guys were fishing and they saw fish? Yes. Yeah, they were trying to get some fish. Or he was, or she was trying to get a fish. It's beautiful here. I was just telling Scott I think we need um, a big deep freezer because yeah, I can hardly squeeze everything in because of my new smoothie addiction. Um, and the food we get for Luca and behind here is all our frozen veg and stuff and yeah it's just a nightmare oh dear we have just had the busiest yet most fun um, weekend we've had an absolute ball um, I'll show you guys a snippet because I use my phone. Um, but last night we had Scott's partner around from work and his wife, and um, we had a really nice dinner party. Um, I'll just pop in what that looked like for you guys. Now, sorry about the quality, guys, because I'm vlogging with my um, iPhone, and I don't know if it'd be not as good. But anyway, I just thought um, we're having a dinner party, so I'll just show you how I've set up the table. These are the starters and we've got all the wine and the decanter. That's how you say it, isn't it? Um, we've got just some rice in there. Scott's doing the gross meat. I hate meat so I don't touch it. They're doing the barbecue. I've got uh, mushroom sauce in there, some soup and yeah, should be a nice dinner party. Yum. And then today we had, um, I'm Serbian, so we've got some interesting traditions for the wedding. And <laughs> Scott's watching me talk to you guys. Um, so we invited the best Scott's friend, the best man, and his partner around and um, asked them to be witnesses for the wedding, which is a pretty big honor in Serbia. So, um, sorry, my camera died and I've only just slightly charged it, hopefully enough to get this video out. So I best be quick. But yeah, um, we had um, Scott's best man and his fiance around today with my parents and we actually asked them to be um, witnesses for our wedding. Um, now, in the Serbian custom, it's a pretty big deal. Um, you're pretty much friends for life if, whoever, if you ask um, someone to be your witness. Um, it's actually kind of like God parents, but obviously a little different. It's not for a christening, it's for a wedding. And um, 
his best man's fiance is actually also Serbian so she understands how big of an honor this is and how special it is for all of us so it was really nice and my parents were here and um, we, we had the barbecue and we had salads I still had heaps of food left over from last night's events so and we had wine it was really nice so we've had a really busy weekend Plus this morning I actually had breakfast with another friend. So yeah, it's been really busy but really, really fun. And I think this is one of the funnest weekends I've had in a long time. And yeah, it's just been nice. There's been no dramas, um, which I've really needed lately, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I didn't vlog much for you guys. It's a bit hard because obviously not everyone's comfortable with camera in their face. So. But yeah, so, um, and now we're just kind of winding down, um, Scott's just put, uh, Luca in bed, um, Daniela's already asleep, so yeah, just winding down and, um, hopefully, um, there'll be enough to vlog for you guys to make a new vid. Now, I don't know how well it's focusing, but I thought I would give you guys a bit of a sneak peek of something I'm wearing on my wedding day. Um, it's probably not as sparkly on camera, but it's actually really, really sparkly. And this is actually from Scott's side of the family. Um, the women in his family wear it um, during their ceremony. On top of the head, obviously, it's a little tiara and it's absolutely gorgeous. Scott's sister sent it to me all the way from Queensland. Uh, she wore it on her wedding day and they would love me to wear it on my wedding day and I just thought it was such a special honor and I can't wait to be wearing it um so I might even pop it on my head for you guys so you see what you think so here it is isn't it just so beautiful um so yeah I'll be wearing that on my wedding day um I do have lots of other wedding goodies to show you guys I'm really really exciting actually I just did a whole massive purchase from JJ house um, I got Daniela like a little um, the flower girl basket I got Luca a ring bearers pillow um, and lots of other little goodies and I've also collected lots yeah I'm gonna do like um, a wedding haul for you guys so I'm just gonna show the obviously not everything's here because a lot of it's um, coming on the wedding day like I haven't done the DIY centerpiece and stuff like that. I've actually got an amazing florist that's um, organizing all that for me. But um, I will admit that. But yeah, all the little bits and pieces that I've kind of collected over, um, we've been engaged for oh, two years now. <laughs> so yeah, I've collected quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be do a big wedding haul for you guys. So I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, how pretty is this tiara? So I'll give you a little sneak peek. Scott's just letting the doggies back in. They can't wait to come in. Hi, babe. Quick, my phone, my camera's about to die. I want to let the dogs in. You know what? I keep charging you for like a few minutes and so then using it again. This is not the way to do it. Now Cooper needs special meds because he's actually got epilepsy, so he has a med in the morning and at night. Don't you buddy? And he hasn't had a seizure since he started it, so look. <coughs> Come on Cooper. We still have wine and champagne all through the house because of our crazy weekend. Say, what are you doing for your bucks? Strippers and cocaine. <sighs> That's not true. I hope not. It's not true. Doing nothing. <laughs> out. I'm gonna hang out. <coughs> it's gonna be a the AFL grand final weekend. We're getting a house. Yep. Oh, Banging a house, drinking lots of beer. Party, party. <laughs> party, party. 
So how do you know you've had a good weekend? Hmm, maybe seven bottles of wine uh, might be a good hint. Actually, this one here is not completely all gone and same with this one. They still have a little bit left in them. But yeah, the others, actually, and this is the champs, this one here. But yeah, I think we did pretty well. What do you think? <laughs> I think Scott and his uh, work partner, um, I think they drank the majority. <laughs> Actually, all four of us last night did, and then we just topped it off today, I think. So, yeah, that's our effort for the weekend. We had a, I had so much fun this weekend. I really, I had, I loved it. That actually wasn't right because we drank these two as well <laughs> last night. So yeah, there's actually eight bottles of wine there, uh, including the champagne. So that's a pretty good effort if you ask me. Funny. Damn it, there's nine. Some of that too much wine. I've had too much wine. I can't count. <laughs> All right. That's embarrassing. I can't math. Thanks so much for watching again, guys. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down the bottom. And we'll see you next time. Bye.